At times, people with dementia can wander off. We've all heard these stories. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, frantic family members have to search for them and call police if they can't find their family members. Worst nightmare for so many families. There is another option, however, as Elaine Quijano reports, technology is starting to revolutionize how people can keep track of their loved ones. They'll give me peace of mind. When I lost him, you kind of panic. They are a pair of shoes with a built-in GPS system which tracks people who wander. I had been leaving him and going to the bank and say, OK, go in, drink your tea, wait for me, and I will come back. And he would do that. This time, I spent a little longer in the grocery stores, got back maybe 45 minutes later and looked in McDonald's and he wasn't there. I opened the bathroom door and hollered, Bill, no answer. Joan Johnston's 83-year-old husband had wandered away and near a main highway. I looked over, was looking all around in the parking lots and in the shopping center across the street from McDonald's. As those caissons I saw him. She picked him up and brought him home. He couldn't remember that I said that I would be back. When I wasn't there, then he well, where is she? I'll just walk home. Bill Johnston is one of an estimated 5.3 million Americans who suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Wandering is one of the most common symptoms. 60% of these individuals will wander and become lost at least once during the progression of the disease. And 70% of those individuals will become lost three or more times. Which can make shoes like these a literal lifesaver and ease the burden often placed on primary caretakers. They're afraid to even turn their back on their loved one for two or three minutes or even to go to the bathroom for a few minutes because they're afraid when they come out they may be gone. And where this technology can really help them is knowing that they'll have a chance at locating them. As the executive in residence of senior housing at George Mason University, Andrew Carl saw a need to curb wandering and reached out to a California company which makes shoes with GPS systems. They partnered on a model for the elderly. Looks like their regular shoe. The only difference is, is a slight bump on the back, which is where the antenna is, as well as the plug-in. Uh, the rest of the GPS technology is basically in the heel of the shoe down here. Here is home. Seeking ways to control Bill's wandering led Joan and son Alan Johnston to George Mason and Andrew Carl, who offered them a pair of shoes to test. We dis discussed it and we decided to, to, to try this, uh, these shoes out on, on him and thought this would be a, a good match. A computer programmer, Alan, takes care of the technological side of things for his parents. The shoes do give you more control. My mom can call me immediately and uh, I can give her immediate feedback on his location. And we're trying to maximize the odds that they're going to have this technology on them when it's needed, and probably the single best location for that is to put it in their shoes. Joan and Bill hope it will make their lives easier, that and the philosophy Joan lives by. You take it day by day and moment by moment, and you try not to plan too far ahead of time. Well, you don't plan. I don't plan more than a day uh, ahead of time and you take it today. Okay, Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York. Carl also worked closely on the shoe with a company in New Jersey called Atrex. So.